and ground quartz from their Chibuku deposits, Zambezi Valley, Zimbabwe. Of course, uh, mined by the locals, um, a product of informal mining uh, by the predominantly Shangan uh, uh, nation living in that section, uh, within that neck of the woods. What we have here is immense fire. Uh, underlying undertone would be amethyst, a very light amethyst, uh, a patterning of smoky quartz around the edges. Hellish to photograph these, but beautiful with strong lighting. Um, I think you may even be able to see through, you can see my finger behind there, totally see through, but with strong lighting, intensity of light, it's like this glowing ember of amethyst. And inside here, those little sprays you see on the edges would be a hematite trapped inside the, the quartzes, making a sort of an elongated, maybe specular hematite strings. Uh, uh, in in the in Namibia, for instance, with the Khubobo Seb quartzes, you get some pretty clear ones with whole lots of shots of these uh, hematite inclusions, which we call Harlequin quartzes. So technically speaking, this may even be a Harlequin, but now what's even more interesting about this specimen is when we look at the other side, it's not quite a floater. I think this one, or is it a floater? I, ah, this is actually, or was it sitting on a stem there? This may have had a stem, so this would have been perhaps the head of a scepter. Uh, terminated right around, so on both sides. This one has multiple terminations. Little bit of color concentration around the edges, lovely clarity around the sides. And of course, this material is generally rather dark. All the way from Zimbabwe, Shangan Quartz, Zambezi Valley, Zimbabwe.